a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity. They're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, and I think it does, all the chefs we've had so far in my Kitchen Stadium have been under 70 years of age. However, I recently received a letter, beautifully handwritten, I must say, from a chef in Kyoto who has just turned 70 and is still going strong. And now, with over half a century of experience to his credit, he wishes to step into my kitchen stadium as a sort of final highlight in his illustrious cooking career. It's a great honor to be there just competing with an Iron Chef and uh, I feel that it's something I can be proud of. I'll give it uh, my best. A veteran's profound desire and who am I to deny him this heartfelt wish? So let's introduce him, a chef with a career that spans five decades, 70 years old and still active, Koichi Tabata. He was born in the Taisho era and started his apprenticeship at the age of 13. Four years later, the Pacific War broke out and sure enough, he was drafted. That was the end of his training as a chef for a while. Tabata joined the Japanese Imperial Navy and was stationed in Saipan. Despite being sent to the front, he somehow managed to survive the war. And at 21, he went to Kyoto to set out once again on his chosen path. But he never stayed long at one restaurant. He chose to become freelance, moving from restaurant to restaurant and picking up a tremendous variety of styles and skills. The number of places he has worked is just mind-boggling, from famous hotels to tiny pubs. Tabata says he stopped counting after his 500th place. I depended only on my skills. It has been a very, very long journey. Sometimes Tabata left Kyoto to learn more about Japanese food. From Hokkaido to Kyushu and the islands of Okinawa, he's even worked in Hong Kong, the ultimate gypsy chef. And this is the cook's knife he has always carried with him. The worn out handle tells us just how long his journey has been. Tabata, of course, had a hometown, Tsuruga, but he hasn't been back for 23 years. Even his own son isn't sure of his whereabouts. It's been over 20 years, 23 years since we last met. No calls or letters, not sure if he's alive. Tabata made up his mind to challenge my Iron Chefs on his 70th birthday. He wants to make his last grand stand as a chef. After telling him I shall accept him here, he's been training intensively, trying to condense his half a century career. Seasoning is the key. I'm not going to lose to a young guy. His 57-year career, to be exact, is distilled into his dishes. Diners will experience his sensitivity to ingredients that he has met all over the country. 
Tabata with the knife that has accompanied you on your long journey. Good luck in making your final mark. This will be my last big fish. I'll win. Today's challenger is a veteran 70-year-old chef, but our guest, she's much younger than that, actress Mayuko Takata. Nice to be here. 70 years old, that's yes. more than three times your age. Yes, I know, it's overwhelming. You'll be looking at a piece of history yes, today. I'm looking forward to it. Yes, and also here, Dr. Yukio Hattori. Always a pleasure. All right, time now, let's bring him on, Chairman Kaga. at 70, the oldest challenger ever to set foot in Kitchen Stadium. A strong, confident gate, and now the final steps in. This man is not ready to hang up his apron. どうも、ようこそいらっしゃいました。あなたの料理人生最後の晴れ舞台を応援するために息子さんが駆けつけてくれました。聞いたところによりますと、23年ぶりの再会だとか。包丁 yes, Making their ascent and assuming their rightful places in Kitchen Stadium, the men who've come to dominate the culinary landscape of this country, as well as the defenders of this cooking arena, coming to life, your iron. Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese Rotsaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. あなたにとっては、たとえ鉄人といえども、息子のようなもの。さあ、誰と戦いますか?チェン、ケンイチさん。so it'll be Chen Tabata going after the youngest of the Iron Chefs, Chen Kenichi, the son of the god of Szechuan cooking, Chen Kenmi. Chen's approaching legendary status himself with his fiery Szechuan cooking. If his father were still alive, he'd be just five years older than Tabata, a battle across generational lines today. 70歳という挑戦者の年齢を最初に聞いたとき、私はかなり 下手っているのではないかと思いました。がしかし実際お会いしてみると下手っているどころかその存在は十分に輝いているではありませんか。そこで私はピンときたのです。下手があって紫に輝くあの野菜。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。
has to be among the oldest active chefs in the country and definitely the oldest challenger to compete here. Challenger Tabata trying for one last hurrah in his career against Iron Chef Chen. 32 years as junior. Eggplant's the theme. The stage is set. Let's get it on. On a cuisine. Bang a gong. We are on. And the Iron Chef with a deep, respectful bow to the challenger. And now Chen shuffling up to the stand, and Tabata, he's in no hurry at the outset. And Doc, yeah. theme ingredient, eggplant, what are some of the things we look for? Well, before we get to that, let's keep in mind that this challenger has enjoyed eggplants in season yes. for over 70 years, right? So I'm really interested in seeing the results of his, let's call it, research program into this uh, ingredient. Now, on the other hand, eggplant is an important ingredient in Chinese cooking as well. Yes. So I think today the key to cooking it will be, well, it's definitely you have to watch how much oil you use, right? Sure. Okay. How much you let it absorb. Mm -hmm. So the use of oil with eggplants is what I'd really keep an eye on today. Okay, and look at Tabata cutting it up there. Yeah, this is the ball-shaped eggplant, or camo eggplant from Kyoto. All right. But it tastes just like any other eggplant? Well, they're slightly different. The egg-shaped one has a higher water content, while the ball-shaped one... The one Tabata's got here. Yeah, right, the one you can see right there. This mm -hmm. one is firm and doesn't really lose its shape. Oh. So it's good for any style, really, stewing or grilling. All right. Fugusan. From the floor, Shinichiro to go. I've just obtained a note from my assistants listing the two ingredients that the challenger has prepared so far. Gelatin and white miso. All right. And he's also ordered his assistants to prepare some more bonito okay. shavings. Okay. Oh, dried bonito there. Doing it yes. themselves. Now, if I could uh, just make a point here. Dried bonito is actually somewhat delicate, chemically speaking. Mm. Uh, the shaved ones in the plastic packs at the supermarket. Right. You know those, yeah, right? Common. Those are vacuum packs, so they're okay. But to do it right, you should do it just before We're cooking. Is the ideal way today, yes. I talked to the challenger Tabata about bonito shavings, and he said that the style Michiba follows of loading the pot with bonito shavings out of a plastic bag is not proper. The way I'm doing it right now is the proper way. He's been watching Iron Chef Japanese Michiba. He's so stubborn about using the old ways. He's proud about that. Well, what he says carries a lot of weight. Koichi Tabata, born in 1924, 60 years experience. He's probably seen it all in Japanese food. Mm. Oh, look. Iron Chef here, labor-intensive effort. Oh, that's nice. Now, uh, so maybe cute. he'll be making mapo eggplant. You know, the hot and spicy one? <laughs> that's very common, and that's actually the core of Szechuan cooking. Okay, now over to the challenger here, the hollowed-out eggplant halves. Uh, boiling it? No, no, in oil. Oh, frying, I see. So it's like uh, shigiyaki style. Yes. Mm. Okay, and he's got the smaller ones right there. Yeah, they're probably in a broth. Not water. Oh, what the about color this? looks like a broth, right? Okay. Any, anyway, three different preparations of eggplant now underway here. Okay. Red oh, wine. 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 Okay. Oh. That's what he's stewing it with. So stewing in wine. Wow. Seventy years old. <laughs> oh, what's wrong with that? <laughs> no, I mean he's got a few things up his sleeve. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is more of a French technique, though. He's picked up a lot. Yeah, he's still <laughs> hard. Yes. The challenger really does have his hand in two pots right now. The red one is red wine only, and the white one is white wine only. Wow. Well, I'm Double impressed. Double barrel action eggplant stews. I'd like to try this at home. All right, now back to the Iron Chef, and he's been busy over there, hasn't he? Look at all those cuts of eggplant, various shapes and sizes. Wow, yes, yeah, such a variety. What's in the center? Well, isn't uh, isn't that eggplant? Tiny pieces? Eggplant, yeah, oh, I imagine. Yeah, so. okay, zooming in close on that one. Fukui-san. Yes. I get word here that the minced item here is also eggplant. Okay, just like we thought. All right, oh. so he's got all kinds at the ready, and now Tabata, there's the beef. Oh, he's got a fillet. Oh. This will be used, these pieces he's frying up somehow with eggplant, and now adding pepper to the meat on fry. I think he'll be stuffing them into the eggplant that he hollowed out earlier. All right. Oh, Have yes, right. Eggplant to be used as a casing in that case. Mm. Pretty interesting. All right, they've got that action going over there. And now back with Chen and into the steamer. Two or three cuts there? Uh, three, I think. No, all of them. Oh, okay. So the Iron Chef steaming all his cuts, except the minced ones. Now, um, would he stir-fry some of these later? Well, he wants to make them softer, but after that, not sure what his intentions are. All right, we shall see. Iron Chef now... Yes, Doc. Tabata's filling the hollowed-out oh. eggplant halves with the beef that he was frying. Healthy-looking chunks they are, too. Yeah. Yeah, big, bigger than usual, aren't they? Well, I think that's why this man knows the proper way. I mean, using the smaller pieces of meat is more common, but that's, you know, boring, basically. <laughs> Plus, you don't want to get shortchanged on the beef. Exactly. And you don't want to prepare top-quality beef like this, like ground beef. Right, exactly. No way. All right, now, Chen. 
boiling pot of water and some noodles he's uh, spreading to go in. Ramen or just plain noodles? I or? think ramen. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> Being dropped in there? Yeah, but why so early? Yeah, that's not going to taste very good. Is he going to chill it, do you think? Oh, that's probably it, yeah. Like a cold pasta. That could very well be cold Chinese oh, noodles. Oh, right, oh. okay, and now mm. back with Tabata. Oh, pine nuts. Oh, right, right, right. Right on top of the beef, resting in the hollowed out mm. eggplant. And did you say, Doc, he'd add some miso sauce to this that's one? That's what I said, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's right next to them. Well, it's right. not just because of that, though, but there, there's logic here. The, the meat was not really flavored so much, right? No. So he'll need to have some kind of sauce, and miso goes very, very well with eggplants. Hey, even I know that. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt about it. <laughs> All right, and uh, let's see. Yes, they are doing just that. Okay, that one was easy. And is this it? Is it done? Uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Might broil it. Oh, oh, that would make sense. That sounds right. tasty. Oh, now yeah. the Iron Chef, the wok contents of that one. Yeah, I'm putting oil the, in there. This is the oh, diced eggplant? Right, yeah. And it's not boiling. This is getting a deep fry treatment? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. yes. I asked Iron yes, Chef I Chin about today's theme okay. ingredient, and he said that eggplant is a very popular ingredient in Szechuan cooking, and I'm good at this. I also heard you guys talking about the Mapo eggplant, right. the hot and spicy sauce. He said he's going to try to make at least one dish that's close to that. All right, tasters oh. will look forward. And theirs is wine-soaked wine stew eggplant. One oh. red, one white. It's so pretty, the color. The wine is almost like a dye. Yes. I noticed one of the assistants going up to the challenger and asking, sir, are we going to get going? Any more work for me? And the challenger just said, hey, you calm down. You guys look like a bunch of chickens swarming around some feed. <laughs> Good ears, Ota. <laughs> Koichi Tabata doesn't seem to raise his voice much, but when he speaks, he commands your attention. And besides being our oldest challenger, another storyline today, his son is here. They've had no contact with each other for more than 20 years, but he is here looking on today. And he resembles his father. Very strong resemblance. Yeah. All right, the Iron Chef fired up walk, working in his element now. Looks spicy there, too. Yeah, I think this is the hot and spicy eggplant sauce. Oh. Oh, right. Mmm, smelling real good, oh, too. Oh, it smells so yummy, yes. You can even catch good. the spiciness in the aroma that's coming from there. And I think he's just adding the hot bean sauce. All right. Oh. Mapo wow. eggplant. Look oh. at that mix of meat and eggplant, courtesy of the Szechuan sage. Now, if we can get a shot of the challenger here. Okay. What's this, eggs? Just the yolks, it looks like. Sunny side up minus egg white. First time I've ever <laughs> seen this version. Bright yellow. <laughs> It could be used like a sauce. Maybe the egg yolk uh, is a sauce. Or? Don't cook it too much, then. Mm. Okay, now if we can check out the Iron Chef. He's grilling something in the uh, in the oven. What is that? All right, up on it there. Okay, I made a mistake. That's not Iron Chef. Okay, Sorry. this is Tabata's That's side. Challenger, okay, yeah. so it's broil he's broiling something. It's miso-flavored stuffing, I think. Oh, yes, right. Okay, that's got the miso sauce on top with pine nuts and beef in there, too. Right, right. right. Mm. All right, now let's see back on the Iron Chef's side. The noodles are oh, off. Way to go. They are making cold noodles. I yeah. guess just by his timing that he was going to do this. That's right, had to be getting them out of the way 30 early. Minutes have Chen elapsed. moving over, unloading some eggplant here. 30 minutes gone. On in the battle, Chen, battling a man Chris nearly on. twice his age, yes. The item that Chin San is now stir-frying in his wok is actually eggplant with some honey on it. Honey? Honey, oh. Oh, Chin San, you're making a dessert for me. All right, well, you wrapped up one vote already. <laughs> hey, I'm not that easy. <laughs> well, the Iron Chef playing to the panel, now back with Tabata. Uh, got a lemon here. Lemon emptied out? Or? They've hollowed that one out, too. And they're poking some holes in the skin. Okay, and let's, there, you can see that. I wonder, this is beyond my imagination. <laughs> Never seen any chef do something like this. I, I guess they'll have something to reside in there. Mm. 70 years of history is too deep. Hey, <laughs> he's probably got some chops we've never seen. This All looks, right, look at it there. Wow, looks like a musical instrument. Like an ocarina. Kind. Yeah, I was going to say that. Well, actually, I don't think he's going to use that skin. He's, he's using the pierced pieces of lemon. Oh, yeah, I didn't think the of that. The punch holes? Yeah. Oh. Gotta think these things through, guys. It's easy for you to say. <laughs> yeah. All right, back with Chen and the food processor on his side. Uh, chicken, chicken meat in there. Yeah, ground chicken meat. Right, yeah. All right, and is anything else in that one? Okay, now back with Tabata. And yes, the broiled eggplant miso sauce on top and spreading some parsley, it looks like. Wow, parsley, you're right. Yes, parsley on top. Mm -hmm. Okay, and what about the twin stews that he had? Eggplant stewed in wine, both red and white. You're obsessing about that dish, aren't you? Well, a little wine. You know? <laughs> I'm kind of wondering what he'll do to that, too. I'd really like and to try it. What about the lemon punch holes? Yeah, he's made a lot of this. Them. See there? Uh-oh, this means I was wrong. <laughs> I know. He's going to put it in. Put, put what in what? 
the stewed wine item in this lemon, right? The wine stew, like in a lemon boat, you mean? Yes. Oh, that could be. No? Fukui-san. Yes. I asked challenger Tabata about how many dishes he had in mind today, and he said, maybe three. If I have time, I might try to go for four. There's a big maybe here. All right, thanks, Ota and Iron Chef Chan. And look at these, just ready to go in there. What is this? I think these are to be served as is. Huh. All right. Kui-san. Yes. Let there be no mistake. These are eggplants. Well, I knew that. Oh, of course. <laughs> knew that all along. <laughs> now, that's the bowl for a dish, right? Uh, in So this side? is to be steamed or something from now on. With something else. Yeah, with the seasoning. Or the broth all or right, sauce. All right, you two or... can check that later. I'm still white a bit wine? lost on this one here. Now, it's the challenger oh, pouring the something onto, for the most part, wine here. Oh, this okay. is wine, right. A skinless eggplant. It's getting an extra dousing of wine. Kui-san. Yes. Yeah, about the challenger. He was pouring, what he was pouring over the eggplant actually was gelatin and a bonito broth. All right. Oh, okay. Interesting. Not, not wine. wine. It wasn't the oh, wine after all. So thickened broth. More like a jelly then. With the katsuobushi? That means? Well, it's not sweet yet. Right. This man is so unpredictable. And uh, we've been remarking on that all, all along and digging deep into his arsenal today. Yeah. Mm. Still want to find out about that lemon peel ocarina. <laughs> No idea, right? Uh, what, what he'll do with it? None at all. But now you'll also hear the chicken meat out of the food processor. Okay, and that is on Chen's side? Oh, yes. And I'd say it's been processed. Yeah, now I think he'll pour this on top of that, the one below and then cook it together. Oh, that would make sense. Um, chicken and egg white, probably for steaming, right? Yeah, and then later you take it off. Okay, and oh. it's already shaped there. Yeah, so then it'll be displayed in a nice little lineup on the plate. All right, and check it out. Yep, that's okay. what he's doing. There we go. And then he'll steam Steam it from this point. That's a definite. Positive? Uh, oh, yeah. Steaming's the only way to do it. Okay. I second that. And right. later, he'll remove the spoons and then decorate this this whole thing lined up on the plate. It'll be very beautiful. This is one you can see in your crystal ball, huh? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but isn't it possible that he'll just serve it as is? Well, taste-wise, it's no problem, but eating this right out of the spoon is, you know, kind of like licking the spoon when your mom's cooking, you know? I didn't mean that. I'm saying he may not remove the spoons. Um, a possibility. Either way, you want to make a bet on this one? Okay, okay. Let's go How for it. How much you putting down? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Kamaboko there. Ah, the fish oh, cakes. Oh, yeah, Kamaboko. Okay, now hang on a sec. If he's adding fish cakes to this, this could be an as-is item. See, hmm. I told you I win. I win. <laughs> well, you know, how long is Takata-san going to be here? Just like, <laughs> hey. As long as she's me. game, as long as she's up for it. And look yeah. at this, though. Nice colors, too. Oh, yeah, oh, it's yeah. so pretty. Really nice. Like fruit in a basket with the colors, yeah. Okay, and now we get back over to the challenger side. And his presentation, not too shabby. Wow. Oh, that's really nice. White, colorful, too. He's not conceding anything at all to the Iron Chef presentation-wise in this one. No. Actually, don't they kind of resemble Michiba-san styles? Yes. No offense, but to be honest, I thought, you know, when I heard his age, I was expecting him to make very old-fashioned dishes. But... Toss out that notion. <laughs> his dishes are looking hip. Yes. yes. This, I've heard that Iron Chef Chin is now preparing some sparrow's nest. Sparrow? I, I'm sorry. Sparrow? <laughs> it's swallow's nest. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> swallow's nest. <laughs> Go with that. Now. Let, let me finish. Okay, and he also added that the dish on the spoon is supposed to resemble a motif of a goldfish. Okay, means oh, it'll okay. be served in spoon. I'd say then. Oh, well, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, and the swallow's nest on swallow's top. Nest here, see yeah. some sparrows in it? Come on, give <laughs> Ota a break. Okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, so there's seaweed here, which is used by swallows to make their nest, but I'm worried about the spoon now. Give up. No, I'm never going to give up. You never know until the last moment. Okay, here. now the challenger's <laughs> got a set of bamboo bowls here. You're Shiso right. leaf okay. on the bottom. Bamboo? Yeah, the wine stew, right? Okay, the wine stewed eggplant going on top, and, and, and now broth. he broth. is. This is a broth, okay? It's almost like a jelly form now. Looks so good, that one. Yeah, I wouldn't mm. mind trying this one right now. Looks like a winner, that dish. Yeah, it could be he's chilling it in the fridge to make it like a jelly. All right, now Tabata to walking go. away from that one. 20 minutes left in the battle. Over to the lemons there. Okay, now you'll see he steamed it. Oh, yeah, he is steaming it. I'm getting a bit nervous about seeing this. Doc, it, you know, looking like you're in the driver's suit today. <laughs> Tori sons looking very happy. Well, it's not over till it's over. We'll just wait and see. Still a lot of time for that one. And now Chen at it again. Yes. I asked Iron Chef Chen how many dishes he'll be able to finish today, and he said about five, but I might have to give up on the fifth one, depending on the clock. And here's Tabata. No, what is he up to? A cover? Okay, like a lid, but what's underneath? The eggplant. Eggplant? That was from one of those pans that was in the oven, or this is fried? Oh, okay. Mm. Looking closer there. Mm, an oh, egg. Oh, this one. On top okay. of fried eggplant. 
and just the yolk too. And then the lemon? Wow! Lemon enclosed with breathing Good holes? Time. Yes. I overheard a funny miscommunication between the challenger and an assistant. Tabata ordered him to get some vinegar, which is su in Japanese, but the assistant got him a soybean product, which is fu. He dropped his shoulders and said, I guess my Japanese is too old for you guys, huh? A real cross-generation communication breakdown. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time it's happened. Now what's up here? Hey, oh. he's taking them out of the spoons. Oh, okay, you see, this is why I charge money for this. But I'm, I'm a good sport. I'm not going to rub your face in it. Oh, go for it. I can take it. <laughs> I'll give you that one. <laughs> well, and he said they represent goldfish out of the water onto the plate there. Oh, like swimming. Very yes, pretty, it's it? so cute. Another brainstorm from Chen. Oh, creative. Eggplant goldfish. Just another dish in a long line of creations we've seen him make here. And this is Ten what the Iron Chefs... This is how they have a distinct advantage. Yes, 10 minutes left in the battle now. Wow, it's so elaborate. Oh, wow. So many steps to complete this culinary work of art. And now the challenger looks like he's just counting them out over there. Not in any hurry, is he? He could be done. Already? Oh, are you kidding? Kuzan. Yes. I asked the challenger, are you holding up okay? Aren't you tired? He just gazed at me and said, hey boy, I know what I'm doing. Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ota's question's getting under his skin. Ota, one more like that, he's going to toss you out of here. <laughs> Okay, I think he's pouring the mapo eggplant over Chen's this. hot and spicy eggplant oh. sauce. Wow, this ought to be awesome. Oh, this is what I wish I were a taster. <laughs> yeah, but you notice that he added some extra eggplants around the noodles. I mean, he, he knows his game here. Doubling down on the theme. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. And as Ota reported earlier, Chan's aiming for four, maybe five dishes. Yes. Yes, we've just heard that he is going for the fourth dish. All right, thanks for the update. Okay. And looks like your three musketeers there. I thought they were done. Yeah, they finished up early, though. Could be trying for one more. Kuisan. Yes. I asked Challenger Tabata whether he's done with the three dishes, and he said, I have some time to spare. I might make one more. And he was thinking about it, and right now, he's on it. So this would be the fourth? Yes, yes, that's All right. All right, thanks, Ota. We shall see if Tabata's side indeed can bring in a fourth dish in five time. Five minutes Start to go. now just under five minutes left in the battle. They're going to have to hustle up. Iron Chef now, he is hustling over the walk with the minced eggplant, perhaps in a soup. We do not discriminate on the basis of age around here. Chen, 32 years junior to his opponent on the other side. The 70 years young Koichi Tabata. Not much in the way of any exchanges between the two. Both have been exemplary gentlemen. It's been a good battle. Very high tone in this battle today. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, it seems like they're cheering for each other almost. Uh, that captures it, I think. Yeah, yeah. Iron Chef, that soup or sauce down onto around the eggplant goldfish. Tabata now with time to spare after completing three, trying to pull off a fourth dish here in the final five. Oh, you can see him frying it in oil now. The waning minutes here and out of the frying pan, one piece at least, and we'll follow what he does, but still want to know, what about the lemon? <laughs> He probably won't do anything else to it, right? <laughs> sure. You can't eat that. Uh, well, no secrets to it, I Decoration think. Decoration only. Must be, must be. All right, but the idea for this, you wouldn't think it'd be coming from a chef who's 70. No, this is very modern. Isn't Young it? at heart, almost like a kid. Uh, like a kid? Uh, <laughs> that's too much. Hey, you'll appreciate it one day. Oh, that's way too much. Not like a kid. Now that eggplant is coming out of the wok. Okay. Oh, what's Aaron Chef up to here? Let's see. Oh, look at the, oh, yeah, his dessert. Right. Okay, so that's the eggplant that he was cooking with honey and, uh, let's see, what else is there? Raspberry or, or blackberry so sauce, right? honey-soaked eggplant with blackberry sauce. Oh, oh, and chilling the glass is so thoughtful. Nice touch. Uh, he knows what he's doing. Oh, very nice dish for summer, very soothing. <laughs> and another advantage, Chen, like the other Iron Chefs, always mindful of the preferences of the tasters. One more mm. thing Tabata's got to overcome in this battle today. That's right. Now, hang on just a second here. Okay, a broth is going down on his side, Tabata's side. Broth, yeah. And the smell of it, very pleasing oh, over here. Yeah, this is a very straightforward, simple dish. Yes. Just celebrating the natural flavor of eggplant. Just right. the 100 percent, yeah. And dried Benito shavings on top. Yeah, just shaved. Oh, yeah, you're mm. right. It's very aromatic. It's very nice. A perfect dish for summer. Yeah, and not that difficult to make. You can do it at home. It's a classic dish. I like this a lot. Got to be impressed. Tabata able to pull off a dish from start to finish. A final one, a fourth dish in the last five minutes of the battle. One minute to and go. And now Chen, a minute to go, and this must be his fourth 
fifth dish. It Less is number four, yeah. Okay, less than a minute. The final 50 seconds ticking down, and what stamina Tabata's shown today, pushing the Iron Chef, a man almost half his age, and also germane to today's battle, the challenger's son in attendance. Father and son having had no contact in the past 23 years, but he is here today looking on as our oldest challenger ever seeks to make one last statement, one last hurrah about his life as a chef. 30 seconds 30 seconds left now. The Iron Chef, of course, can't let any of that stand in the way of his mission. Take this eggplant, crafting, creating, innovating with the theme ingredient. And now Tabata grinning on his side of the kitchen. He's done for all intents and purposes. You've got to hand it to him today. To Win or lose, he has made a statement. And now we'll await the reaction by the tasters to, to his four eggplant dishes. The Iron Chef putting the finishing touches right Five to the seconds. very end. As Tabata Three, exits, stays two, left, his work one. done. Final seconds tick down, and that's it. The cooking's done. The eggplant battle is over. So how do you feel after the one-hour battle? I feel good. <laughs> Feeling good? Are you confident? So-so. Uh, 60 minutes later, and how do you feel? Sure, yeah. Well, I always say that, especially today, though. Well, all right, then. Uh, how would you rate your dishes today? Let's not get into scoring. I wanted to give it my best, and I did my best. But I was a bit nervous today. Challenger Tabato is offering four dishes. First, wine stewed eggplants, stewed in red and white wine, respectively. The wine accentuates the fruity flavor inherent in eggplant. Fried eggplant in broth, the chopped up pieces are lightly fried. The bonito shavings and ginger bring a perfect balance to this classic dish. Third is Mikasa style eggplant with a lemon cover. A fried egg yolk sits atop Kamo eggplant. The sesame seed sauce adds a gentle flavor. Last is stuffed eggplant with beef and pine nuts. The crispy texture of the pine nuts adds an interesting touch to the overall experience. Iron Chef Chen counters with his set of four. First, Szechuan fried eggplant. Here, Chen separates himself from the pack and the challenger by adding hot bean sauce. Steamed eggplant with sweet sauce, a steamed effort served in a gently flavored soup, accentuated by pieces of fish cake with the subtle use of swallow's nest. Cold noodles and hot and spicy sauce. The steamed eggplant pieces around the hot and spicy sauce create a flavor which should find favor with the tasters. Last, a dessert using eggplant, chilled eggplant with raspberry sauce. And now, the moment of truth. Tasting and judgment for the eggplant battle. On the panel today are former lower house member Toshio Yamaguchi, actress Mayuko Takata, and Rosanjin scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of Challenger Tabata. Mmm. I feel like I'm enjoying a fruit rather than an eggplant. It has such a fruity taste to it. I see that he is young at heart by looking at this dish. This is quite good. Mm. This is made by taking the most delicious parts of the eggplant and cooking them together with this broth. This man is a true veteran. This is a wonderful flavor. But the flavor is not really that of an eggplant. That's so. The egg yolk and the sesame sauce are a bit too strong in this. The seasoning of this needs some work. The sweetness is a little too strong. The crispy things are pine nuts. Oh, nuts and Pine nuts, yes. Oh, pine nuts. The pine nuts are so tasty, oh, aren't good. they? A nice accent, I think. As for the meat, the quality of the beef is to be questioned. It was a bit hard. And I wish maybe you minced them into smaller pieces. These are too big, I think. Uh, in the future, you may want to consider how to make it a little easier for the people tasting the dishes to, to eat. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. In Sichuan cooking, we use eggplant a lot, so balancing flavors while shooting for diversity is what I kept in mind when cooking these, you see. Mm. 
really peppery. Yeah, hot. Yes, I like the spiciness of this dish. Mmm. You chose to start with your A game, using a hot bean sauce to open our eyes first. I like that strategy. Oh, it's so big, isn't it? Hi. It yes. looked much smaller when you were making yes. this on the spoon. This is superb. Almost artistic, I would say. His playful mind is what allows him to be creative. Needless to say, the flavor is complex and profound. Mm. Mm. It's refreshing. Very good. The one before this was mm, more mild. How can I put it? In this dish, the spiciness is more accentuated. I'm enjoying this. Thank you very much. His typical dual attack strategy is here. This one is not flavored so much, while the other one is cooked with ground meat and spices. Mm. Not at all. It's more like enjoying a fig compote. You got that right. That's what this yes. tastes like. There's no way to tell it's eggplant. You were, if we weren't told, I'd think it was a fruit and syrup. Well, you know, I, I feel like I'm looking up at a blue summer sky and daydreaming. So nice.六十年間の包丁人生で得たものを全て捌け出してくれた今日の挑戦者。あなたの存在が私に何かを教えてくれたような気がします。せめて最後の晴れ舞台は勝たせてあげたい。誰もがそう思うでしょう。しかし、その情